Reddy, this is group 10, and the members are Chanel Lurie, Philip Latchman, Mark Hagmanson, and Hisham Paulessa. The purpose of this project is to design an antenna which will be used in continuous monitoring, sense and node communicating with a mobile handset at the way using the recent IEEE standard for body area network. The IEEE standard used was the IEEE 802.15.6. The purpose of this standard is used, is used to describe the specifications for short range wireless communication within the proximity or even inside the human body. The standard utilizes existing industrial specific medical brands as well as frequency bands approved by national medical or regulatory authorities. The antenna being designed for this project is a mechanical antenna. <coughs> this antenna is made up of two cone like metallic structures which are oriented with their bases placed against each other. The dimensions of the antenna were selected such that it was relatively small compared to the human body. This is illustrated as shown in the diagram. The radiation pattern of this antenna is omnidirectional, which means it radiates in all directions. The frequency of operation was 21 MHz, and this was chosen as a central frequency. The bandwidth of the system was selected to be 12 MHz, and this would be used for the analysis of the design at the front frequency. The purpose of the antenna used in the design to facilitate a wireless connection between two antennas. Both 2D and 3D designs were considered to analyze the problem. Since the antenna is symmetric, it allowed us to model the geometry in the 2D atmosphere and allowed for easy solving and comes out. However, since the 3D model led to more accurate analysis of the problem, this together with the RF module was chosen for the design. Two important parameters which must be taken into consideration are the electric field and the magnetic field of the respective antenna. The figure shown illustrates the three the electric field radiation pattern for the model implemented, which is also known as the far field electric region. Based on the results obtained, Near the inner part of the cone, the intensity is relatively low as compared to the outer side areas where the intensity was higher. By comparing the colors of the model to the given legend, this effect can be observed. <laughs> the figure shown shows the radiation pattern of the front field. The blue line represents the electric field and the green line represents the magnetic field. Comparing this radiation pattern to the patterns from other antennas, the bipartical antenna's radiation pattern is similar to a dipole, allowing for omnidirectional radiation pattern. Also, this shows the antenna is capable of broadcasting the signal in both directions along the XP plane. Another parameter to be considered was the S parameter. The diagram shows a comparison of the S parameter frequency response at different bandwidths. A bandwidth of 12 MHz was applied firstly, and from this it can be seen that the response was wide band. Secondly, a bandwidth of 12 to 4 MHz was then applied to the model, and the response was observed. It can be seen that the S parameter decreases in length. This indicated that the impedance of the antenna was less much at higher frequencies, which resulted in inferior antenna performance. It must be noted that after the center frequency, the rate of degradation is increased. Thank you.